What's up everybody? This is Harley Heather from North Carolina and I'm going to do something a little different today. I'm not actually going to be talking about my Harley. I'm going to be talking about my 2013 Chevy Camaro and one of the a couple issues that I am currently having with it. I've owned it for probably a year and a half but for the last six months um, I've been having an issue with the radio cutting off on me and now it has advanced to there's no sounds on the turn signals. No, I don't have any heat and I don't have any air. So I did call Chevy and called their customer service. Spoke to a nice lady there. She took all my information. You will need to give them your VIN number and the mileage um, on your vehicle. And basically what she said is they didn't have enough people calling to issue a recall. So she took the information and then she also gave me a number for um, a government safety site for vehicle safety recalls. So I'll give you both of those numbers. And if you are, are having issues, please call Chevy, make a case, get the number. The more people that call, the better our chances are for a recall. So none of this comes out of our pocket. But I will show you, you know, what the car isn't doing. And then you can see if you have the similar issues and, you know, if you want to call, you can. But anyhow, if you have any comments, drop them below. And I will show you what the vehicle's doing. So I will turn on the car. And these are my turn signals. And... As you tell, can tell, there is no sound for my turn signals. And with the radio, the radio doesn't come on anymore. It used to uh, cut off for no reason. Either when I put the clutch in or when I put the turn signal on, the radio would go black and then it would come back on. So it did that off and on for a while and then eventually it got to be where the radio would go off and it would take longer for it to come back on and then now it doesn't even come on at all so if I'm lucky maybe it'll come on for maybe eight seconds until I touch the clutch turn signal same thing and then it cuts out and doesn't even work at all so I have no heat the air doesn't work so it's a real pain had the car for about a year and a half um, I did call, like I said, I did call the um, Chevy customer service. This is Chevy's Chevy customer service number. Call them. Make sure you have your VIN number. Make sure you have the mileage. Give them all the information of the problems that you're having. And then in return, they will give you this number. Um, and you'll need to call this number as well. It doesn't take that long. It took me maybe 10, maybe 10 minutes to give them the information. And they'll just need your case number from Chevy. She'll ask, they will ask you questions. I spoke to a woman and they'll just ask you questions um, as far as what your vehicle is doing. And if we get enough people to call, then they will issue, you know, they'll look into it and hopefully they'll issue a recall and it'll be no money out of our pocket so I have seen quite a few videos on YouTube regarding this information regarding the same problem that I'm having a lot of people have replaced their radios and some say it works some say that it doesn't work so anyhow those are the issues that I'm having with my Chevy um, if they sound similar to what your vehicle is doing, please do call those two numbers, make a case, get it documented. Hopefully they will issue a recall and we'll have them fit, have the problem fixed for no charge. So if you have any comments, drop them below. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I appreciate you watching. 